Okay, so I've been up five minutes, made coffee, cats have been fed. Just going to sit down now and look at my videos. And just to let you know, we've woken up to rain. Went to bed with rain and we've woken up to rain. Oh, the joys. Okay, see you later. And just so you can see now, it's raining even heavier. And I need to go out. I've got three places to go today, so I think I might get a little bit wet. And it's got heavier in the last couple of minutes. And it's getting heavier as I speak. And heavier again. Well, this is ridiculous. We just need a break from the rain. It's not worrying me too much. It's just all these people that are getting flooded. They don't need any more. It's ridiculous. And even heavier. This is like five minutes later. Okay, so I've come upstairs to get a shower and get dressed. I'm just looking at the state of the bed. Can only mean one thing, can't it? Sorry, mate. Just wanted to see if it was you. Oh, we knew it was going to be you, though, didn't we? Oh, yes. Okay, go back to sleep. Well, there we go, then. Leave him all snug in a, as a bug in a rug in my bed. And I'm off on the shower. Okay, so one of the squirrels is laid there. I have just thrown some nuts out down there. Carol's been feeding them whilst I've been out. And one of the magpies just came and took the nuts. Or took a nut. So, I don't think that is Sybil. You're right up there. No, definitely isn't Sybil because she wouldn't run like that. So I'm unsure if that's Beryl or if it's... The baby okay well the nuts are there and we're now going would you believe shopping so we've come out to do a bit of shopping and stopped and bought a snack and carol's feeding the pigeons some of her sausage roll but they're everywhere so yeah there we go they've had a little bit of a meal today look nice and healthy anyway right on with the shopping and tonight's dinner is omelette just something quick and easy and not too heavy so there we go that's carol's i'm just waiting on mine because mine's got cheese and the cheese takes a little bit longer to cook and there is mine with the melted cheese on the top so i'm gonna go and eat it now No, he's gone back under the car. As soon as I try and talk to him or come out, he just runs back again. I say he looks in very, very good condition. I just want to know whose cat it is and can let them know that he does seem to be eating quite a bit here. So there we have it. That was Ninja Cat. So first to arrive tonight is Cookie. Hello mate. Hello. Here we go then. Just noises up the road. Here. Yeah. Come on. Good boy. Just getting some ready on a plate for him. 
You don't want that, do you? No? Oh, you do, good. Good boy. Come on then. Come on. Well done. You're so gentle, aren't you? Yes. I say that every night and you've got your black shiny nose. Definitely. Here we go. Should we put some on a plate for you now? There we go. That, yeah, that's my hand. I just want to say on this video that I am not trying to tame any of these foxes and I am not trying to get them to come into the house because I wouldn't have any of them in the house just to make things clear because I am being slammed quite a lot by a certain person I won't mention names because I'm not that petty So yeah, these are totally wild foxes, they're urban foxes, and I just make sure that they have some food each night, because it must be awful to go hungry when you can't find food anywhere. And there's thousands and thousands of people across the country and across the world that are feeding foxes and other wildlife, so why should I be any different? Do you want some chicken, my man? Okay, yeah. At least it's not raining at the moment, which is one good thing. And it's not too windy either. A lot of people are asking what the temperature is. Off the top of my head, I'm going to say it's around 10 degrees. Right. going to take away tonight then okay there is a car outside so it does make it more difficult to view the street but no doubt he'll come back oh he's going up the road okay let me just see if i can catch where he's going now he's up there by the second lamp post Is he going to come out onto the road? No, I don't think so. So, no, he's gone out of sight. So I'm going to say he has gone into one of the gardens on the right hand side. So, yeah, there we go then. That was Cookie. And there is Dave. Hello, Dave. Okay, let's just see who turns up next. Pip has been around, but each time, oh no, Cookie is right at the end of the road there. Just seeing him moving, I don't know if I can get him on there. Right up by the end there. No, you can't quite see it on here. Okay, so he has gone to the very, very end of the road. And like I say, Pip was about. She's had a little bit of food out of the bowl, but... By all she doesn't hang around so I've not managed to catch her on the camera tonight but hopefully she'll turn up again later on okay so that's it for the moment just for the record my tooth socket hole whatever you want to call it is feeling a lot better I haven't had any pain relief for two days now so that's all a good sign so let's just hope it continues to go the way it's going and I'll be pain free totally with another couple of days. Just a little bit tender still, but 
that's only to be expected when you've had a tooth pulled. Okay, I'll see you soon. We're back on looking for the button because I can't do it without looking. When the phone's the other way, I can. But this way round, I can't. Never mind.